So I found myself with a broken turbo in a 2003 F350 six liter Super Duty, uh, power stroke, I guess I should say. So this is the original 2003 turbo. Um, understand that this turbo was only really used for a 2003 model and part of way through 2004. So then this is the turbo that replaced it. And I think this was used right up to 2010, but don't quote me on that. That's just internet, internet research. On some forums, I heard guys using these things in these trucks. I got this one. It's probably the only one I could find and just lucky to know a guy that had some parts. Um, checked it out. The front um, compressor on the intercooler is a, a little bit wobbly, which would, and it would also a little bit on the, on the outtake here, there's some oil in there. So that would tell me there's probably a bushing more out inside. So I got a rebuild kit. Ordered it through Olson Diesel in Yorkton, Saskatchewan, our local diesel shop. They're awesome. And they got me this rebuild kit. So I'm going to tear it down and fix it. That's not the point of this video. The point is to show you that, yes, the 2004 up turbos can fit in the pedestal mounts. And they do bolt right up to the down pipes, up pipes, whatever pipes there is there. So the problem is, and the difference is, I'll show you here. On a 2003, the mounting points are in the front of the turbo. So this is on the passenger side, that's the driver side. And on the reverse, and this is where the difference is, it actually has this bolt going into the turbo, okay? So you can see the three mounting holes here on the uh, pedestal. You can see how there's these little line alignment tabs that go uh, help you align a turbo when you're putting it in the truck. And it bolts in just like that. You can see how the back one meshes up right there okay now the problem is on the 2004 they have um the mounting tang so this is the one i cut off and I'll explain that in a second it actually mounts uh vertically it's not horizontal it doesn't go into the turbo it actually is freestanding and the pedestal on those must have this piece go out flat. So it's easier to get at basically is what the problem is. But with this tang, it bangs into the back of this pedestal. So you can't, you can't mount it. So I guess there would be two ways to do this. You could cut the back pedestal piece off, um, which I opted not to do. Uh, or you can take off the back of, just tang off the back of the turbo here. So you can see it's kind of, already a little bit rusted out from where I did but this actually I, I polished it all up with a uh, sanding disc and I cut it with a zip disc so basically we use one of these after I had cut it vertically so it was mounted somewhere like let's say about here with a zip disc I cut it through took it off and then I polished this down tried to follow the uh, case curve and whatnot um, in order to fit onto the pedestal. The other thing I wanted to share, just a safety concern. Um, I know most of you know what you're doing, but with this metal being about seven eighths of an inch thick at its thickest, and it's a good hard cast steel, when you're using a zip disc or whatever granny disc you're using, you're cutting, you're cutting, you're cutting, you get about halfway through. And if you even bend a little bit like this, that crazy amount of RPM that's on there, that disc is going to catch there and it's going to explode. And that's what happened to me. Uh, when I was doing it, it hit me in the arm, hit me in the stomach. Luckily, it didn't take me in the eyeballs. Um, no harm, no foul, but I mean, it, it could potentially be catastrophic for you. So you can see this disc here, it's not the one I used. The other one is, it was totally disintegrated. Same fate here, it's busted. This is garbage. Just wanted to show you as an example. So just be careful and take your time when you're cutting that tang. Problem on the back pedestal when you leave this, you have these two uprights basically, which gives it strength, um, which doesn't give you a whole lot of clearance. So if you cut this too tight, you're gonna go through the case. So you gotta be darn careful. I was, there's a bit of pucker factor there working on this thing, because if I went through this case, that's, you know, probably if, you know, $400 down the drain is what I paid for this used turbo. Um, I don't know, I assume that this 2003 exhaust portion would fit on here, but the problem is it was beat up pretty bad from the impeller uh, compressor letting go so you can see here if I if I mount this thing exactly how 
how it fits onto the 2004 now that we've shaved it all all down nicely see goes right on you can see there's just enough clearance to allow those uprights to actually support the turbo a little bit there now the reason that gave me a little bit of confidence in this was that my 2003, this bolt was actually laying in the valley of the motor. It wasn't even in it. Um, I imagine there'd be a little bit of movement, but there is quite a bit of strength from the exhaust pipe on the back and the up pipe on the side. In a pinch, you definitely can do this. So I hope that was helpful. Um, I am not an expert on turbos or six liters at all, but I just wanted to share that little bit to the community because I sure appreciated being able to jump on YouTube and learn how to tear this truck down, um, fix a turbo, uh, fix a no start situation, change an oil cooler and the whole nine yards. Um, uh, so I, I just, if I can give back a little bit, I am happy to do so.